This morning, cities all over the country, including Atlanta, are on edge as we prepare for the public release of a police video in the killing of Tyree Nichols. Investigators say Nichols was beaten by a group of officers in Memphis, Tennessee, and died days later. Today's video release is expected to give more insight in the case, and those close to the matter who already viewed the footage are calling it appalling. It's going to remind you of Rodney King in many regards. Um, you're going to been assaulted, battered, punched, kicked, uh, tased, pepper sprayed. It, it is very troubling when you think about Tyree only weighs, as his uh, family say, at most 150 pounds. Investigators say the deadly attack happened during a traffic stop less than 24 hours ago. A Tennessee grand jury indicted five former officers in Nichols' death. Officials say the video is expected to be released this evening and law enforcement agencies are getting ready for what could be a weekend of protest. Liza Lucas joining us now with more on the state of emergency in effect here. So Liza, tell us more about what that order includes and what are some of the preparations happening around the area? Good morning. Yes, preparation is key and the governor's order lays out that 1000 up to 1000 Georgia National Guard troops are ready to be deployed right now. They're on standby and will continue to be on standby for the next two weeks. That emergency order coming after protests we saw last Saturday in downtown Atlanta turned violent, leaving a cop car burned and several buildings damaged. Now those protests last weekend were in response to a planned public safety training center where a state trooper was shot earlier this month. The activist who allegedly shot him was also shot and killed. The order also comes as cities and police across the country also prepare for potential unrest. Atlanta police telling 11 Alive they anticipate possible protests after the release of that video showing the death of Tyree Nichols with Memphis officials saying that video is going to be coming down to the public tonight. Now, Gerald Griggs, attorney and head of Georgia NAACP, tells 11 Alive there's a need for accountability, but also he may clear this regarding any potential protest. Again, it's not to be anti law enforcement. This is to be pro-justice and justice has to be fair and equal. If we see what I think we're going to see, we need to make sure that when we protest, it's peaceful, it's nonviolent in the spirit of the First Amendment, in the spirit of the city of Atlanta, in the spirit of, uh, of America. Now again, APD telling 11 Alive that they are watching and monitoring the situation in Memphis closely and are prepared to support any peaceful protests here. They also say they join in the outrage over Tyree Nichols' death. And at the same time, President Biden joining the family, urging any protests this weekend to be peaceful ones. Sending it back to you guys. Liza, thank you. 11 Alive will continue to follow this developing story today and throughout the weekend. For the latest updates, head to 11alive.com or check out the 11 Alive News app.